the thing rather that preserves who I am is like practicing what I love to call like a radical softness. Existing in a space as a black man to be soft, right? A black queer man to just be as open as possible, as comfortable as possible. I will have gone from being perceived as a non-traditional queer woman to being ignored as a seemingly heterosexual Asian American guy. And that's going to be really interesting. In some ways it's easy to draw a narrative that says, okay, because I was in the Muslim community, I had to silence this queer side of me. But when I think about the people who supported my queerness, the few like allies that kind of knew about this were also Muslim. I just started talking more about my experience and reclaiming my blackness and my blackness being connected to my queerness and then also my chronic illness not as it was separate from me but as it was a part of me and then wanting to see myself and then having to just insert myself it's hard to be siblings right not just allies but these are your siblings and there are policy and laws that does not support your siblings so how can you be an ally and actually support getting policies that uplift and are intentional to creating spaces where trans folks can actually be